I told you guys I had to move because my ex gave away my location. And now I'm here and ready to show you guys everything and give you the proper tour that you deserve. Let's go. How the heck did you already get my address? You know what? I'll always find where I live. Might as well just show you everything. Come on. Now, first thing I want you guys to recognize is I have an alarm system, and it's not your ordinary alarm system like Vivid. It's ADT, a well-known brand, and we're not gonna jump forward into that room. We're gonna save that, not now, but for later. But I want you guys to notice the open space and the scenery when you first walk into my house. And as soon as you get inside, you see how beautiful it actually is. And yes, I added my dog, my lucky gold free dog that I got. This front door area is super cool. I like the stone, and it actually reminds me of So Cool Land. For those of you that don't know what So Cool Land is, is actually my biggest video on YouTube right now at 34 million views. Anyway, this staircase is crazy because it's massive and at nighttime, it has the lights on the side that just give it that glow and that effect of always knowing where your next step is. Now, before we go upstairs, I just wanted to show you how crazy it is in here, man. And I know a lot of people are smiling right now and they're excited that I'm actually giving this tour. So if you are one of those people, make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe because every video after this is gonna be super crazy. I don't even know how else to explain it to you guys, but you see, we're in the house right now and this, is what I would like to call my front area. And yes, that's a bathroom over there and I will show you every bathroom in this house and how many there are. There are currently six bedrooms and seven bathrooms in this house and I'm gonna show you all of them, all right? But this is a living room area, so that's one. That's just the front area. We're not gonna count that as anything. This is like a formal dining room area. This will be considered two living spaces, I, I would say. I don't wanna say you can live in this space, but living room, dining room, it's all about living. And as you can see, we got not one, but two gigantic mirrors in here because you know I can't get enough of myself. That was a joke. But still, down here we have a long, enormous hallway. And before I go down there, it's just this beautiful artifact that I wanted to show you guys, made by Haziza. And this is actually signed, and like one of 25 of these pieces exist. So this alone is very rare, and it's $10,000. And notice how my voice changed because of the way that this section is made. You hear that? That's crazy, right? Anyway, we're gonna go through this way, or should we go through that way? We got options, baby. We got options. We just came from that way. We could go that way, this way, or this way. Now, if you understand what I'm trying to show you guys is that hide and go seek in my house is gonna be off the chain. We got a fireplace right there, a nice TV that D-Lo might have to update and change the angle on. We got a nice little boot up there. We got some couch space over here, a nice little section for chilling. We got a nice little modern, I don't even know what it is, but I told him, I want this to stay. I'm not taking the house without this, so I got that too. Got a nice gigantic plant over there, a nice chilling space. I got this over here for, you know, if I'm chilling, charging my cell phone, just wanna relax, watch some TV, but let everybody else enjoy the couch space. I got that. Too. And over here is my bar. And I know you guys know this, but I do not drink like that. So all of this stuff that I bought, $5,000 worth of liquor, is only for show. But it does make this area look very good. And whenever my baby mama Nike comes out here, you know she's a bartender, so this is gonna be like crazy for her to see. She's probably gonna be able to whip up some drinks for us, hopefully. But just before I speed through this, I wanted to show you guys, I got the Ace of Spade bottles, and these mugs are beautiful in person. If you've never had one before, you might wanna get one just for a collectible item. And yes, it costs like, I don't know, $300 each. But that's not a lot when you're gonna be saving them and using them as collectors. These Don Julio two liter things, these mugs a little bit crazy on the price, but they do look good as well. And the Class A Azuls, they're just a nice piece to have in your house. And especially when they haven't been open. See, what you guys don't know is a lot of people take bottles like this, they pour all the liquor out and put cheaper liquor in there and then they serve it at their parties and trick everybody. I had to find this out. But before I move forward, I wanted to show you guys, we have dishwashers over here, freezers over here. And of course, nothing's been packed yet because we have a whole list of reasons why. I just moved and now I have to move again. And I already explained that in my other video when I told you guys that my ex gave out my location and that is the reason why I have to move again. Now this time she can see where I live but she won't know where I live. Not that I don't trust her but because I don't know if she's capable of making the right decision when it comes to what not to record and what to record, what not to tell her boyfriend or what to tell her boyfriend. So I have to keep my own safe on the low. This is the kitchen and as you can see, we got not one, not two, but three sinks. Crazy, right? Another dishwasher which makes two and not only that, but another dishwasher, which makes three dishwashers, which is crazy, right? Over here, we got the dirty stove, and yes, I want to admit that we did cook breakfast in this house, and in my other video, I told you guys that I already spent the night here, and this is not my first time here. I just decided not to record because I had the kids with me, and I wanted to keep everything
everything to myself. But over there, you see we got a microwave and an oven, another microwave and another oven, and they all work just fine. That being said, we also have a massive refrigerator. But let me take a step back. Let me show you guys one more time. That is the biggest refrigerator I have ever had. And if you can remember, and so cool land, before YouTube deleted the video, I actually did a prank where I took everything out of the refrigerator and I got inside and hid as Michael Myers. Now that refrigerator had nothing on this one. This one is way bigger. So all I would do is take these shells out, all of them, these two, and hide up in there and close it until I hear somebody and jump out and scare the freak out of them. But it has not been stocked, so I don't want you guys judging me. But you see, I got popsicles for my kids. They love some popsicles. Got some ice cream, Gatorade, silk, juice, apples. We did cook over here, so everything that we actually bought, we used already. And now it's just time to go crazy and fill up this house with everything. But this fireplace is very beautiful, even though I already showed you guys. I just wanted to get a little bit closer and show you this little town scenery over here. And I'm gonna cut that off because it's actually making the house super hot. Now, for those of you that's lost, we're back in the same spot. So over here is where we was just at. You know, we was over here. I showed you guys this. This is another living room. So that's like three different living room spaces. That's a kitchen with another dining room over there. So that's like five dining room, living room spot thingy thingies. We got the bar going on over here. And now I'm gonna take you guys down here. This room, nothing. Wi-Fi room, you know what I'm saying? Just regular stuff up in here. Motherboard, some vacuums. We got a nice mirror right here, which you know, I love myself. And I'm feeling drippy today. Even though I haven't really been getting dressed lately, I feel like really good today about my fit. That being said, it's time to move forward. And even though it's not stopped, you know I got some champagne cellar, man. And this time it's actually cold in here. I'm not making this up. That thing right there works and it's cooling this room off, even though it's only three bottles of wine in here, which are expensive wines, but I don't drink. This way is the first bedroom that I'm choosing to show you guys. And no, this is not master. This is not mine. This is just another room that's next to the garage. And this room right here is actually cool and it's chill, but I already talked to D-Lo about changing this entire room into my editing room slash gaming room slash streaming room because even I too want to get back on Twitch and start streaming because I do like to play games. And with a house this big, it, it, like the possibilities are endless. And before I go straight through, I want to show you something uh, special about this house. Every room has its own closet just like this and California Closet did them all. So no one has to feel left out when it comes to getting the room. So when Kamari chooses her room, when the twins are old enough to say, this is the room I want, they will all have their own closets. And this is the biggest laundry room I've ever had. I'm not just saying that. This right here is the coolest thing I've ever had in the laundry room. You see that light just cut off. And this is an ironing board. I'm not even like, how can you exaggerate? This stuff is cool, right? So we get our iron and we iron all our clothes. We can't plug it in anywhere. What do we plug it into? It has to be somewhere in here, right? Bow, right there. You plug it in right under there and you get your iron cooking. And next thing you know, your clothes are good. And it goes right away and it's hidden. You don't have to have your iron board right there. Not saying that anything's wrong with that, but that's a little old school. And we have these gigantic Bosch appliances. If you know what Bosch is, you know, you know. Let's get out of here because no one really cares about washers and dryers. What you're really interested in is this room right here because this room is my movie theater room. Crazy, right? Now, I've already ordered a 120 inch screen. It's gonna go right there and it's gonna be a laser projector. So it's gonna be a TV, but also a laser projector, which is just like the movies, but TV. So it's a clash of both, which makes it even better. We already got this nice couch in here and everything that I wanted, I told him to leave. Everything I didn't want, I told him to take. So it used to be some things in here that is gone now because I'm gonna replace them with my own cool things. And I know that my things are gonna be cool, not because they're expensive, but because I chose them and I'm CJ so cool if you didn't remember that. So for those of you that are new to my channel, before I take you in this primary suite, that's right, we don't call it master bedroom anymore. We call it primary suite. And the reason for that being is because master, we know what master used to be used for and we don't do that anymore. No one's gonna be in slavery. No one's gonna enslave us. And we're not gonna use terms that we got from slavery. That being said, this is not the master bedroom. This is the primary suite and I am the primary owner of this house. So this is where I lay my head. Let's go right into it, man. You know, every room has to start off with a mirror and has to have a mysterious hall that leads to another mysterious hall. So we're gonna go this way first as you walk past this nice little plant. That's actually real. Uh, okay. So over here, guys, we got my massive room and I used to have some chairs right here. That was his, of course. And I told him I didn't want those chairs because my kids might be uncomfortable sleeping in their own room and I might have to put their car beds right here eventually. This is something that I already know. He doesn't understand that, of course, but he will see it if you watch my videos. That's a cool little fan. Usually in my bedrooms, the fan don't work or the remote to the fan is lost. I'm just glad that we got that. This bed, very comfortable. I told him I wanted to 
to keep it. I changed out all the stuff, like the bed covers, the mattress covers, whatever you call it, the sheets, the comforters. All of this is brand new and it's my stuff to stay. This chair is definitely cool, so I told him to leave it, but the other two chairs that was over there, it didn't look like this. So that's why they are gone and this one's still here. Of course, I like this plant and everything I'm about to show you right now is super cool. But first, let me do this, because this is the old school ghetto way. But the uh, other thing that I'm about to show you is not ghetto. So right there is a blind, but watch this. You see that? You see that? Look at that shutter blind, man. Blocking out the sun rays so that I can continue to sleep because everyone knows there's nothing more valuable than being able to go to sleep when you want to and wake up when you want to. So that being said, this is crazy and I will unlock this door so that I can take you guys out later. But right now, I'm gonna take you guys this way so that you can see the secret mysterious hall. And this is exactly why I chose this house to be my new home. And before I walk past, this is a nice little section that I'm not used to. My kids love milk. And as I said before, my kids spent the night here. So I had their milk right here with the Gatorade, which obviously ran out because CJ loves Gatorade. And that's very cool to have. Also, whenever I decide to drink coffee, I got an express right here. This is cool because you can wash your hands right here. You don't have to really leave, especially if you're doing something with CJ and dad in the room. They spill something. Here's the water. Here's the refrigerator. Very cool, right? Now, before we go up in here, I want you guys to remember the only other house I've ever had that can compare to this is the house that I actually built and reconstructed. So before you start saying, this ain't the best because I seen you have better. Yeah, that's true, but I can change these things too. So now that I told you guys that, let's walk in my primary closet. This thing is humongous, super massive, man. And yeah, my jury is just sitting out here because I could have put it away. Of course, I could have put it in here. Or I could have put it in here. And these are vel velvet, I think. Oh, not velcro, velvet. And they feel actually good. But I decided to leave it right here because it reminds me that I have all of the things that I've been collecting and I'm gonna fill this thing up with all of the other things that I've been collecting, which is my shoes and my clothes, which you guys already know. So without going too deep into the closet, let's go into the other closet, which is even better looking because we got this unfinished wall right here, which just tops everything. I like that look, I like it a lot. I actually like this glass see-through door because when I'm playing hide and go seek and I'm hiding right here and they looking through, they not gonna see me, but they gonna think that I'm not in here because they can see through. I'm gonna be hiding right here, but I shouldn't have said that because they gonna watch my videos. And yeah, speaking of watch, I'm watching anybody that comes in here so I practically can cheat when we plan how to go see because I have cameras booby trapped all through this house. Now you guys know I was in a home invasion so I have to protect myself at all costs and before we go in there this is where I clean myself at all costs and yeah this is my three piece mirror. Y'all know if y'all see my viral video when I was in the mirror going crazy like ooh through the transitions like ooh hit that one out ooh. This is the type of mirror that it had and I love these mirrors because you can see your front side back and it just looks cool when you see one two three yourself but not trying to be too full of myself jumping into another Another mirror which is enormous. I don't know, this is like 10 feet? A 10 feet mirror, bro, that's super crazy. We also have Jack and Jill sinks, which is super cool because they're big as heck and I don't like sharing anything. And speaking of sharing, this shower is big enough to share with a whole team of people. And I'm not sharing it with anybody, it's all me. Oh, by the way, I don't wanna step in there with my shoes on, but this is a sauna. And if you can remember back in time, I haven't had a sauna since so cool land and this is a better sauna because it's bigger. And of course, it's newer. But that being said, this is my jacuzzi tub that the twins will be utilizing to take baths in. They've already done so, and they've already enjoyed this tub, and they like the jets. They like the fact that the water is so close, they can turn it on anytime they want. Whatever, right? This is my mirror, and I will be getting a stool right here. And no, Lexi will not be sharing any of this private space with me, because I'm the primary owner of this house, because she has her own room. And speaking of rooms, this is a bathroom, of course. That is an old school bidet that I will not be using, because for those of you that don't know, I'm not squatting over this. You see what I'm saying? Like. I'm not sitting down while this big stream shoots up. Nah, I don't, I don't like that at all. But the other bidet that I used to have, which is more newer and high tech, is better because it keeps the seat warm, it plays radio, it blows heat out on your feet, it raises the toilet seat on its own, it flushes on its own. That's why I like that one. I might not use the spray all the time. I might just want to do doo and use a doo wipe or something like that. But I don't always want to sit on that, so this might get replaced. Just keep that in mind. D-Lo is the man for that. I already talked to him. He was laughing at me, but he understood. And uh, that's something easy for D-Lo to do because he's done that before many of times for me in all of my houses. Now, I promised you guys a tour outside before I go upstairs, and that is exactly what I plan on doing. Let's go outside so I can show you guys the newest surprise to my house that the twins are gonna love. Bouncy house, that's right. I bought a bouncy house and put it in my backyard so that when the twins come back, it'll be something new for them to play on and they're gonna like it. Now, it was plugged in and then I unplugged it overnight and then I guess it got a little dirty, but other than that, I'ma clean it off because this thing is brand freaking new and it should not have dirt on it already. But it's cool because this thing is clean, super clean, and the inside is clean because that hasn't been touched by dirt at all. That 
being said, this is crazy. I have one of these on and one of these off because quite frankly, I don't really want this on because I'm not about to be out here. I did want to show you guys and explain that this is a fire pit and this is super cool. The way you light it is manually. As you can see, the matches in there and just old burning matches. That's how you light it. You cut the gas on, you throw the match in there, boom, it's on. That one is on right now. This is the jacuzzi. That is the pool. I have a massive pool. Bigger than the last house that I just got and definitely bigger than my other house that I just moved out of. And as you can see, we got to go upstairs because there's a lot up there that I haven't shown you yet. But over here, I'll just get a little bit closer to the fire pit because that mug looking crazy. And right now, if you haven't already, make sure you comment your favorite part of the house. I know you haven't seen all of the house, but comment your favorite part thus far. I will be reading my comments just like I will be chilling next to this fire pit when it gets cold outside. But right now, it's super hot and that's why I didn't cut them both on because you can see the flames and the fumes and it is super hot. Speaking of what I can see, that sunset look kind of good from right here. That's a nice little view, man. I promised I was going to show y'all this room over here in the corner, which is in the front. It is a powder room. This is where the girls come in, you know, put their little powder on all that. Get their hands washed. Take a nice little quick doodle without no one knowing. All right, here we go. Going up the stairs now that I promised I would go up. And it's a lot of stairs, so I'm going to just run because this is, this is crazy, man. I got all this house and it's just me. And I can go that way down the mysterious hall, this way down the mysterious hall, or that way. I choose this way, man. Let's, let's go this way. We know right here that this is something scary. I'm not going to show y'all that yet. Y'all going to have to watch my later videos to find out. And before I go into the next bedroom, I'm going to go back outside just because I was already out here and I felt good while I was out here. And I wanted to look down and see that everything looks good from up here. Wow. Crazy. Let's go back inside. It's actually tiring walking around and running around, but you can never get too tired of your new house, right? Here we have a new bed, which needs to be dressed, of course, but I've been doing so much. I just dropped the twins back off, and now I'm about to get into all the stuff that I need to take care of, like little knickknacks like this. Of course, I got Roa, Lexi. They can all help me with that type of stuff. But once again, another bathroom with another tub, with another toilet, with another sink, with another closet. And I told you guys, every room has its own closet. Now, this one is a walk-in closet. You come in, you close the door, you're all up in. In here. It's crazy. You can fit your clothes, your shoes, your book bags, your stuff you want to put in here, your jewelry, your underwear, your t-shirts. This could be Kamari's room. If she decides that is her room, I mean, she can choose it. And if she says she doesn't want it, guess what? It could be Lexi's room or it could just be a guest room. But we're going to keep moving this way because there's another freaking room down this way. I told you guys, so many rooms and so many things to see. Like this, for instance, very cool. You can literally open this and then they can open that one and you can directly toss things to each other or just communicate. Same there, same there, and same there. Now, I know you probably wonder, how do you know this? That's because my twins have already experimented with this and we've had a lot of fun doing this, playing in each door, just running around. But not to get off topic, this is another bedroom that Kamari can say is hers. If she decides that she wants this one, it has a big balcony, I don't see why she wouldn't want this one. It also has its own bathroom and you know what? Another walk-in closet, but this one has a Jack and Jill sink and a bigger closet. So she might say she wants this one because it's obviously bigger and this is a better master because it has a Jack and Jill with a big mirror in here and a bigger doodle. -doo room so if she wants she can have this one which is even better hey look at this bro i like this house so much there's so many different reasons why i like this house one it's not so modern that it looks like i'm living in an airbnb or feels like it's unworthy of living in because it's too clean and i don't want to spill anything and everything's bright and white it kind of reminds me of so cool land just the updated version of it everything in here is brighter and it looks like it works so i'm excited about the future and the future is saying that it is actually hotter so let's turn the air on and this is another room now this room as you see the pillows messed up this is the room that the twins and i had the most fun in while they were here because they just like the fact of it being so many options they was all up through here so what they would do is come through that door run across open this door jump on the bed we was playing hide and seek we was playing a game called wake up we was playing so many different games it was just hilarious to see that i didn't have my camera i did have it but i didn't record here's another closet and like i said the twins daya cj kamari that's three kids i've already shown you guys an unlimited amount of rooms i can't even keep track but another bathroom y'all already saw the closet another shower same towel everything looking good looking nice no one's gonna be feeling left out if they choose the room no one's gonna be like man i got the worst room because all the rooms are cool and they all mimic each other even though they look different and of course i can add furniture subtract furniture add pictures add led lights add tvs i'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff and that is why i kind of didn't want to show you guys the video yet but i felt like i needed to because i was hiding it and i didn't want to hide it anymore i kind of felt like drake when he was hiding his kid from the world or hiding the world from his kid one of those and i just didn't want to do that no more here we 
we go another closet and another room and this one's actually easier to turn into something like a play area because the bed has already been removed and it's, it's gone. I just gotta get rid of these dresses because I don't want those dresses. I want this to be a playroom. And then what do we got? Another bathroom with another shower and tub. Like bro, the stuff is endless. And like I told you guys, you can start here, open this door, communicate to them over there, over there, just play so many games or just look down there and just see how cool the scenery is. It's just a cool house all together. I think that actually brings me to the end of the house because I've literally walked every inch of this home. Well, not every inch, but the parts that I didn't show you guys, I'm sure I'll show you guys in another video or, you know, it'll be like an Easter egg. You'll just have to pay attention and watch, see what all I showed that I haven't shown so far. I do want you guys to admit, this house is massive. There's more than enough space for my family. This is the best house that I've had in a long time in years. And you guys have to admit, you're going to be excited to see the content that I produce with this house. If you agree with me, please leave that in the comment section because this is going to be the video that I expect to get the best comments. So I'm going to be reading my comments more than I always do. Anyway. That being said, this video is officially over. I gotta go. Peace.